I'm really genuinely super nervous for this video because I'm actually doing something permanent. Well, it's kind of permanent to my appearance. So today I'm going to be dyeing the two streaks, the e-girl TikTok situation. Everyone's done it. And then I am like 95% sure that I'm also gonna be dyeing it pink as well because it's like a temporary dye. It doesn't matter if it looks bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It like really gets into the back of your throat. It's throwing me off because right now we're in my kitchen, obviously, and this kind of looks like icing. One part of my brain is like, this smells like poison. And then the other part of my brain is like, eat it. So my bleach is done. I'm so scared. I just keep staring at myself in the mirror and having kind of an existential crisis about this. I just have to remember that this is literally a choice. Like nobody told me I had to do this. Nobody's forcing me to do this. The only person who's making me do this is me. So I'm just gonna do it. I'm just trying to figure out like how much I want to actually dye. I wish someone else could give me advice right now. I feel like this is what I want to go with. Um, <laughs> I just, I'm so unsure. And like, I'm literally the most indecisive person in the world. Like, I actually do not think that anyone could be more indecisive than me. I've got to test myself. I've got to grow as a person. So I need to make this decision. I think this is cute. Do I? The bleach is on my hand. <laughs> I literally wish you could feel my heartbeat right now. I'm like so anxious, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. Here we go. Oh my God, it's on. Okay, it's on. Oh, it's, it's happening. I cannot go back now. I can't go back and that's fine. That's kind of empowering. Do you know what? Now that I've actually just done it and stopped like talking about it and worrying about it, it's done. Whatever happens, happens. That's kind of nice. I only have one glove, by the way, which is why I'm like awkwardly doing this with one hand, but also my other hand already has bleach on it, so does it matter? No, but I'm just trying to play by the rules, okay? I feel like this is pretty good for this side. I have tin foil, which I'm gonna put on just to make it like get out of my face because it smells like poison. <laughs> I did not do this right, but this is what I've done and we have to deal with this now. Oh, that's really annoying. <laughs> All right, my dudes, this is what we have. On the right side, which is the first side that I dyed, you can already see it starting to lighten, um, which does absolutely terrify me because I just forgot that there is gonna be an end result and it is gonna be really blonde. Cool, that's it for now. I'm gonna come back and check back in in like, maybe like 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah. There's like some bits that seem to be kind of my natural color still, like it's a little bit streaky. So I'm just gonna put some more bleach on because you can never have too much bleach. So I'm just gonna go over the top bits and make sure that everything looks like it's got dye on it. All right guys, so that's what I've done. I've done a cheeky little touch up. So I would say the dye has been on for like 40 minutes at this point. It still looks kind of orange and also it's really starting to hit me that this probably is going to look bad. Maybe this will look cute. Actually, maybe this will. Maybe I need to not freak out. Washing it off. So obviously it's really orange right now. Also, I didn't like nail the actual application. This back bit I've definitely missed. So I am going to go in with another round of the dye, but I'm just going to blow dry it to see how much damage control I need to do. But I do just want to say that even though it's yellow, I am actually really enjoying the vibe. I don't think it looks terrible on me. Whoa, 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 yeah. Oh my god, that was the sound of bleach just splashing on the ground. This probably is not great for me. So I'm gonna wash that off. I know my mood has been very up and down in this video because that's just who I am as a person. Literally can never make up my mind, but I am feeling a bit fun and fresh and full of life right now. And I just feel like this is a fun thing to do while we're young. Like even if it looks bad, it just doesn't matter. I'd just like you to look at my face right now. I do have bleach everywhere. All right guys, round two is done. I'm gonna come back to you in maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes. I'm back. I just thought we could check on the color together. I don't know. It still looks like a little bit yellow, but I also like really don't want my hair to dye completely. I think I'm going to wash it out now. Oh, is that the right decision? Is that the right decision? 
What do I do? Yeah, I'm gonna wash it out now. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like that was a mistake because it's still looking orange. So obviously there are some kind of orangey yellow streaks in my hair, but I don't want to completely like damage. I mean, it's already so damaged. So what I think I'm gonna do is shampoo it and dry it. And then I'm gonna put on my pink hair dye. And then in like a week or two, when it's blonde and the pink has faded, then maybe I can re-bleach it and like make sure that it's the color that I want it. Or if the pink looks terrible, I will be going to a hairdresser. The current vibe is like a two out of 10. So I'm really hoping that the pink is cute because if not, then I am going to completely have a meltdown. So just be prepared for that. Whoa, 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 yeah. Now I'm gonna apply the pink. I did um, make a massive hole in my glove, which is great. It did say it was pastel pink. So if it does turn out this shade of pink, I will be very upset because this is like a highlighter. Should I be spooked or not? I would literally have never done this if quarantine wasn't a thing. And the thing is like, it's not even quarantine really anymore in Australia. But then again, I wouldn't have started a YouTube channel if it wasn't for quarantine and I'm really glad I did that. So maybe I'll be really glad that I did the hair thing too. It's done, it's done. The damage is done. There's no going back. It's said to leave it on for 10 minutes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I'm gonna wash this off now and then blow dry it and then either panic or not panic because it's either gonna look good or bad. This was meant to be pastel and it's literally like highlighter pink and I'm having a little bit of a breakdown because I just wasn't expecting this. Yay! really bugging me is the shade of pink. Maybe I need to shower um, and try and like get some of the pink out. I feel like I want to cry. I'm not going to, but I might. <laughs> this is so dumb, but I am crying because um, I hate it. I'm sorry, this is so crazy that I'm um, literally crying over hair. Like it's not a big deal. It's a big change and I think that's why I cried because it was just a bit shocking. I just like never envisioned it being this pink. Um, and also I think a massive problem is the rest of my hair is just so like natural and like basic vibes that it just looks like two things that don't go together. So what I'm gonna do is have a shower and like really try and get quite a lot of the color out because it does fade. So I'm gonna do that and make it hopefully a tiny bit less like a highlighter throw up on my head. Watch me love this tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I shampooed my hair maybe three times properly like scrubbing as well. It's definitely a bit lighter as you may or may not be able to tell. It's still quite bright though. I think the pink is just not the right pink for me. A lot of the photos that I was using as inspiration, they had like makeup on and nice outfit. So I'm putting some makeup on so that I feel a bit better and I can get a better idea of like how bad it really does look. But I'm not hating it like as much as I did. I would not cry over it now. I always think about doing these things and I always talk about doing these things and then I never actually do them. So I'm really proud of myself for the fact that I actually did this and I didn't just talk about wanting to do it. I'm sorry if this video has been kind of negative. Usually I'm really positive and happy. Something got to me today. You know, 2020 got to me today. All right guys, I put my hair into a half up, half down. I have makeup on now and I am happy to say that I don't hate it. It's just different and that is scaring me, I don't know why. It's a few days later now and the initial shock has worn off and also the colors faded out and I just wanted to let you know that I actually love it. I think it's so much fun. I'm so happy that I did it. Yeah, I really love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry if it was like negative. I mean, it definitely was negative because I cried in case you forgot, but I hope that you at least found it entertaining anyways. And I will see you next Wednesday with a much less dramatic <laughs> video.